Kristo wale inko master ga wago lumda ga bagenge chine bo sergali no tin ko kanya institute of supplies management rate up k and give me work tool jobo emoni any check tugula chenyo ro tenda school tugu kana procurement as go bit kena bi kenyo lugo soldain by siano tan eno rate nenena ko ngalali en kana set ne ba elorate count ne ba wazingi show en kasa tan ga lumda te tutiano tan ko ma ceo ne ba mornet ne ba no drift kenet matiba ko limit an ra chang bi ki masirot in ge en ki bagenge ino tan ki go nam ge ya ga fisa ek chaba ga ki ruwa ga se go soldain by sioni chotan eno rate ne mai tsayat we have embarked on a robust process of ensuring and enforcing compliance. We are telling the public and all stakeholders that you are not allowed to practice in the space of procurement and supply chain management if you are not registered by the institute and also duly licensed to practice. That is how we believe we can be able to make progress as a country and we are encouraging employers to ensure that the people that they employ in those functions are vetted, are registered by the institute and are in good standing. We have also gone ahead to build the capacity of our disciplinary committee to handle matters of professional misconduct. And we are urging stakeholders to refer matters of professional misconduct to the institute because now we have the capacity to handle matters adequately that are relating to our members. We have worked with the judiciary through the Kenya Judiciary Academy to build the capacity of our disciplinary committee and we believe that matters of professional misconduct should be handled by the institute and we are encouraged members have facilitated us our process which is initiated by what we call the user department so what we have done is do sensitization on the segregation of duties but also sensitize the user departments the people who eventually consume those services to understand their role in that chain because most of the things that go wrong are always sometimes almost always not procurement related. There are people who are actually the people who set the specification, the people who are the user departments, who sometimes give things that are already doctored to suit certain specifications. What are we doing in that sense? We are actually doing education for those people so that they know that procurement is not just a, a, a thing you buy. It's a process, it's a science and an art. It's got roles, regulations that have to be followed. And I think by entrenching that professionalism at the regional level here, we don't just professionalize our members, but also the...